Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. This video of the week is about timing belts. Right now, I'm doing a timing belt job on a 96 Volvo 850 NA model that has a manual transmission. And you know, I don't know if I'm disappointed in myself or, or some other source because I'm still running into people that don't know that their vehicle has a timing belt and that this thing needs to be changed at a scheduled time. Also, that uh, there are warning signs occasionally when you have a problem in the timing belt area. A timing belt and related parts, I'll say, is a critical part of your scheduled maintenance. If it's not done in a timely manner and the belt goes bad, water pump goes bad, one of your idlers go bad, your tensioner goes bad, it'll cause the belt to jump track and on these cars that has interference motors, it will destroy the motor. So, you really shouldn't go uh, much past your timing belt interval change, either mileage or time. This one that I'm doing now has been run about 75, 80,000 miles, which is not bad. Somebody had done it in the past, so it wasn't the original parts. It was done within the last seven years. Now, when it was done last, somebody replaced the water pump, but they did not use a Volvo specified water pump. Therefore, I feel the need to replace the water pump. I haven't checked the tensioner roller yet. I have the tensioner in a clamp checking it for leaks. And I just pulled the idler pulley, which looks original, and it is noisy, even though it's a little tight. So it probably wouldn't make it another 70,000. Then again, it may because it is uh, a little tight. Very few people have reported having warnings to a timing belt failure. One is the water pump leak. That's the warning I got that it was time to do my water pump and you got to pull a belt to do that. Another person said he heard a strange noise when he started the car. He shut the car off he came out here, and the belt was tracking off of the cams, cutting into the timing belt cover, and was about to cut through the timing belt cover and come off because one of those rollers or the water pump was failing. Another warning is when you start the car first thing in the morning when it's cold, if your idler roller is about seized up, what will happen is you'll hear a squealing for about a minute or two, then the squealing will go away. Well, the squealing going away is not a good sign. You need to get that roller replaced because you're probably either past your change interval or when somebody did the job last, they maybe only replaced the belt and didn't replace none of these other parts. To be frank and honest with you, I've done it myself. Replaced the uh, timing belt, didn't replace a roller. 20,000 miles later, I hear this squealing, and I got an idler roller that's about to come apart. When I pulled it off, I couldn't even turn it with my hand. It was so tight and seized up. I have even replaced timing belts for people that didn't know they had a timing belt on their vehicle. They were told by the salesman, you don't have a timing belt, so they purchased a car, drove off, and 70,000 miles later, I told them they need to get a timing belt replaced. They didn't think they had it. I verified it and helped them get that replaced. The absolute quickest way to know if you have a timing belt and when it needs to be replaced is to check your owner's manual. Your owner's manual has a scheduled maintenance section. That scheduled maintenance section will say when you should replace your timing belt. Another way to check is to go onto a national parts chain website enter your vehicle information and the website will tell you if they will sell you a timing belt well if your car has a timing chain there's not going to be a part there for the belt if there's a part there for the belt it needs to be replaced at a scheduled time 
before it gets damaged, before it gets broken. Some of these websites, like Park Geeks and maybe Rock Auto, will actually tell you if you have a interference motor along with your timing belt. An interference motor means if the belt skips or jumps track and the car loses its timing setting, it will actually destroy the motor of the car and you'll have to get it rebuilt. Sometimes it's only the head that gets damaged. Sometimes it's actually the head and the block that gets damaged. So, once again, I urge you to find out if your car needs this maintenance item, the timing belt. If you don't have written documentation of when it was done last or you suspect that it's out of its time interval, get that replaced along with the water pump if it's more than 10 years old on Volvo's or if it's an aftermarket pump, along with your rollers if you don't have a history of when they're done. You can check your rollers, reuse them if they're good, but in a lot of cases, it's just safer to replace all that stuff if you can afford it. Thank you very much for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.